Hi everyone, it's Jody from An Eye for Beauty and I'm coming on today with a message. We are looking at a card that is giving us a message today and is asking us to begin to dream. So the card is the dreamer and the card says, a new start, trust yourself, push your fears aside and take a leap of faith. So this card is really asking you today, especially in the midst of everything that has been going on in the world for the last 10 months, without an end in sight, we don't know where we're going, what's happening, we're hearing things on all ends, but most importantly, no matter what is going on in the physical earth, in the world, outside of you, the external, you need to ask yourself by going within and saying, do I trust that no matter what is going on, do I have a trust in God to know that things are going to turn around, that things are going to be okay, that this is a new start? And why does that new start have to be negative? Why can it be that that new start is positive? And my, I want to ask you, do you daydream? Do you take the time to daydream? And if you did, what would you dream of? What do you want to create in your life? If I'm telling you now, based on this card, that you are being given a silver platter and you can have whatever it is that you dream of that you want, this is a new start for you. We're beginning a new journey. What is it that you want to create in your life? Everything is energy. And I know maybe at this point, I sound like a broken record if you continue to listen to my messages, but it is. Everything is energy. And if you continue to be in an energetic state of negativity, of low vibration, you will continue to create that in your life. How do you take what's going on right now in your personal life, in your world, in the world, and look at it and switch any negative thoughts you have into a positive thought by trusting God, by trusting that even if this is an experience we have to go through, and yes, we do, that's why we're here. We all signed up to be on earth at this time for a reason. What's the reason? A reason that is different to each and every one of us, but a reason that is the same for each and every one of us is the fact that we all are growing. We are all ascending spiritually. Now, based on that, what will you do with your ascension? Will you use it to your advantage? Will you begin to shift how you behave in situations, how you react in situations, how you attract situations to you, how you speak, how you talk, how you love? If you sit in fear constantly, you're never gonna get to that place. So you have a choice, you have free will, which provides you with freedom to have the choice to decide and dream what is it you want to create from this moment on. No matter what's going on in the world, no matter what you hear on the news, what do you want to create? How much do you rely on and hold on to the external? in order to make yourself live? Or do you take the time to go within and truly try to understand yourself so that you can create a life for yourself based on what it is that you want in your life, not what you're being told to do, to have, or to be? Because you have free will. So this might sound like a whole bunch of gibberish and what does it mean? 
Um, I scroll through at times social media and I see posts and this will be something most people can uh, relate to. That's why I'm sharing it in this way. I see posts that start out with a little bit of positivity, but end in a negative way. Like we thought things were going to get better and all they are is getting worse. And so what happens when you read that? You feel, ugh, you're right. Everything is getting worse. That's what most people are reacting when they read that. But what if you can shift that and say to yourself, no, everything's not getting worse. Everything is going to be okay. I trust that God has a plan. And even though it looks bad at this moment, I know that there is some lesson that we need to learn and everything is going to be okay for all of us that are walking the path with truth, with integrity, and with love and compassion and doing right by our neighbors, by our brothers and sisters. If you are in a place of that way, of that thinking, can you shift the negative to be a little more positive? To help yourself can you do that for yourself because when you do that for yourself you're helping others in the long run you may not realize it but the more that you work on yourself and the way that your thoughts process it makes it easier for others to see you doing it and then they say oh you know what I can do that too I can shift my thoughts also if she or he can be in more of a positive state I can too. And then what happens is you help others to do that through their ascension process versus being in what I like to say is like Eeyore state. If you think of Winnie the Pooh and you think of Eeyore, oh, woe is me, victim mentality. No, we should not be doing that right now. We want to get in more of a Tigger state, more of a, it's all going to be okay. Everything is good. Everything is well. That doesn't mean that you're in denial because you see everything that's going on around you. But what it means is you still have a laser beam focus through this third eye. You're seeing everything. You're seeing all the crap that we're seeing. You're seeing everything we're experiencing. You're seeing the things that are being said that are bullshit and you know it, but still you have inside of your heart, you know that everything is going to be okay and you trust it can you do that for no matter whatever experience you want to relay this message to mean can you do that because when you do that you are going to help the entire human collective that means every single one of us human beings that are living on this earth right now so I'm going to ask you to take a leap of faith and try to step more into trust and less into fear. And I hope that in doing that work for yourself, you can really understand my words and know to the depths of your soul that by doing that, that is actually going to shift and help you, which is going to help everyone around you. I wish you a great day. Bye-bye.